Summer flounder is one of the most popular fish in the Northeast of the United States. Tonight we're doing flounder frances. This dish, despite its name, is an Italian American dish. And unless Brooklyn was once a part of France, this dish has nothing to do with French cuisine, despite its name. The fish we're using tonight was caught a mile or two away from the kitchen in which we stand right now. This Frances style is immensely popular in the New York metro area, and I hope you all love it. Okay, as for the ingredients, the star of the show is without question summer flounder. It's a great local fish that runs in abundance. Uh, it's called fluke around here where I am on the Jersey Shore, and I grew up fishing for this stuff. Here's a picture of me and my older cousin, JP. You can see we've got some bluefish and one fluke. The fluke is the smaller of the fish. But it is a very light firmness, mild fleshed fish, takes on flavor magnificently well. This Frances sauce that we're gonna do is kind of a classic butter, lemon, white wine sauce, and it just works perfectly for this. As for the ingredients for our sauce, we're going to use some shallot, we're going to use some butter, lemon, and some white wine, which is not in the frame. Uh, then we're gonna batter the fish very simply with some uh, eggs, which I'll scramble lightly, and some Parmesan cheese. You won't taste any of it, it just makes a better batter. Okay, we're gonna hit the flounder with a little salt. Hit both sides. Now we are going to juice some lemons. We're gonna mince our shallot, so we'll take off the ends. Get rid of this paper. Nice minced shallot there for you. Okay, now we're gonna give our parsley a quick mince. And we're gonna drop some of the parsley into the egg batter so it gets embedded in the coating of the fish. Throw that into a bowl. Okay, to make our egg batter, we're gonna use three eggs. And we're gonna drop in a little Parmesan. Cheese and fish don't normally go together, but this is just for the batter. You won't really taste it, it makes a better batter. What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna dust the fish fillets in our seasoned flour. I've got about a cup and a half of flour, heavily seasoned with salt. I'm gonna coat fish fillet with it. Then I'm gonna drop it into the egg wash, which is just off camera. What, that, what that's gonna allow us to do is when we fry this fish, we're just gonna have an incredible golden coating on it. Okay, into the egg wash. Another. Okay, you can see we have our two flour coated fillets bathing in the egg wash. You can get them fully coated. Very simple. And they're about ready to go on the pan. Okay, we've got a very hot pan. We're gonna give it a good amount of canola oil. You wanna use an oil with a high smoke point. Then drop that fish in away from you. You can see how that crust immediately forms on the side. It's gonna have to cook for about two and a half to three minutes on each side. So you're gonna to wanna to check it. And once that crust is golden browned, it's time to flip and we are golden brown. Oh, look at that beautiful crust. And I'm gonna cook another two fillets, so what I'm gonna do is put these two in a 200 degree oven to keep it warm, but make sure it doesn't get overcooked. Do the easy one first. Now we're gonna go ahead and sever that. Okay, our fish is done. We've disposed of the canola oil, so now we're just gonna give it about a tablespoon of butter. We're gonna cook the shallot. We're gonna add some white wine, let it reduce. We're basically gonna build our franchise sauce. Very straightforward, it'll just take a minute or two to prepare. When the sauce is ready, fish goes in the pan with the sauce, and then we serve it. Mwah. That's how it's done. Okay, let's give it our butter. Throw the shallots in there. You wanna be on medium to medium high heat. Once our shells are cooked a little bit, we're gonna give it about a quarter cup of wine. We're gonna let that cook down. Once it reduces by about half, we're gonna add in our lemon juice. Oh, it needs a little more salt. And it's reduced by more than half now at this point, which means it's time to add our fresh squeezed lemon juice. 
to that and a little more butter, and just a little bit of flour to thicken it up. Oh my God, it was really good. Okay, last thing we're gonna do is throw in the parsley. Okay, that fish is gonna finish cooking in the sauce and it is done, ready to serve. All right, we're gonna just spoon over some of our sauce. I've got the fish on a bed of rice. Let's hit it with a little bit of parsley. And that's all there is to it. Flounder Frances, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, now is an excellent time to hit that subscribe button and that is the best way you can support this channel. Good luck in the kitchen, bon appetit. Let's get into this. Mm. Oh, great. Mm. In its name, this dish is about as French as I am, which is to say zero.